Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duel! Dawn of the Battle Royale! Feel my spirit! How's it going everyone? Today we're going to be playing a little bit of the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duel Dawn of the Battle Royale. So this has just come out, uh, I played the first hour and I've tried to like condense it all down into as short a video as possible so you can get a good taste of what this game's going to be about. Uh, I know for a lot of people you probably haven't played Rush Duels because it isn't available worldwide just yet, it's only available in Japan. This is our main character, I think he looks kind of cool, he's a transfer student, he's just gone to Goha school. Uh, he can feel the souls of people uh, and he can make connections through duels and connect with their soul. That's kind of his uh, his gimmick. But because we're at this school, we meet the main character of the Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 series, Yuga, and we also meet the rest of the gang. We've never played Rush Duels, uh, which is true both in the game and in real life. Uh, although I have made a video on how to Rush Duel, I've just never played it. So of course, naturally, a alien appears in a UFO and tells us that there is going to be a Battle Royale tournament. Uh, and the winner gets this special card, and this special card will grant you anything you want, anything you desire, if you win this tournament. So, yeah, we're hooked. We want to go learn how to rush duel, and Yuga says that if we go down to the streets, uh, we can go learn how to do that. So, yeah, we head over. Hey! Hi! Once we're down there, we have a couple little tour trial duels against Rain, learning the ropes of how to rush duel. If you're a Yu-Gi-Oh duelist, all you need to know that's different is you can summon as many monsters as you want in a turn. So I can normal summon, normal summon, normal summon or set. Uh, I can tribute summon as well as many times as I want, as long as I have the resources, of course. Um, you start with four cards and then you draw one card to start your turn. And then everything after that, you always draw until you have five cards. So if I use my entire hand, my next draw phase, I will draw until I have five cards. If I've got two cards in my hand, I will draw three cards. If I have five cards in my hand, I will draw one additional card. Also, there's no standby phase and there's no main phase two. And the effects of monsters uh, have been simplified a little bit. So rather than saying everything in one big like paragraph, uh, we'll have a requirement... That requirement is what you need to use a monster's effect, and then it'll have effect. That's what happens once you've met the requirements. Some cards have like no requirements, so uh, yeah. But once we've got all the torch trial duels out of the way, we can move on next to a proper duel against Roman. Now, Roman has forgot her deck at home, so she's just playing a dragon deck for the time being. But this is fine, this is our first duel against somebody, uh, and in the end, we are able to win. So I'll let this duel play out, and you can watch it yourself. I'll see you after the duel. Roman, I've upped my game too. Let's begin! I'm gonna give this duel my all! Rush duel! I get to go first! Check out my spirit! I draw! Summon a monster! I activate my monster's effect! <laughs> I set a card. I'll set a card. I tribute one monster to tribute summon. I'm ending my turn. I'll set a 
I'll use this monster to chuck it coming! Use this monster to tribute summon! I'll set a card! in a monster!
I summon a monster! I tribute one monster to Tribute Summon! I should bring this duel to an end! Here I go! I attack the third monster! My monster! Go! My monster! Go! I end my turn! I'm on the top of my game! Just watch! It's I hope I get what I need! I draw! Everything's going to plan! 
I end my turn. Just when I hope I get what I need, I try! I activate a slow are destroyed! I activate my monster's effect! What? I 
Are you it. really a beginner? I did feel something special about you. So the first thing I wanted to check is if I could turn a lot of the animations off. So I went into the settings and yes, you can literally turn everything off. You can have it as just a top-down simulator kind of thing, which is great. We have a shop system involved in the game as well, so you can buy packs, obviously, with in-game currency you find, tickets you find in the overworld and stuff. Um, I was able to get a couple things here. And I love the fact that you can actually open all of the cards, uh, all of the packs at once, something you couldn't do on Legacy of the Duelist. Thank you very much for that. So I turn everything off for this next door because when I go down the street, I find a small helpless child and I think, yes, let's absolutely destroy her in a door. And a couple of misplays, of course, but this is how the door went.
multi strike dragon dragius And because we were alerted that there was a powerful duelist in the basement of one of the buildings, we go over and it turns out it's the the dude who kicked off the story of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. He's like uber powerful. I'm pretty sure he summons a blue eyes white dragon uh, in his duel in the show. But we've got to go up against him. I'm warned that he's very, very powerful. Uh, I thought this was going to be like a scripted loss because of how much I was getting absolutely pushed back in this duel. But uh, I won't spoil it, but we managed to turn things around and... I'm going to say now that the my favourite thing about rush dueling has to be the comeback potential. Because in this duel, I get pushed back and I've literally got nothing on the field, nothing in my back row, I have no cards in hand, and my life points are so small and my opponent has a two really powerful monsters on his side of the field. However, with just one good draw of five cards, I'm back into the game and I even was able to make a comeback. So, um, I think that's the biggest the biggest sell to this game. I, I really like the brush duel mechanic to a degree. It's definitely a more simpler style of dueling, but I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. Uh, if this is aimed at a little bit of a younger audience, then I think that's absolutely fine. You want to kind of... You're, we're getting a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel soon. This is for the younger audience. However, you can still have a lot of fun with it, no matter how old you are or how talented you are at the Yu-Gi-Oh! card game. But I thought it was really, really cool.
rise into the light. Multi-strike Dragon Dragon! We're in the Battle Royale tournament now, so we can go defeat duelists and get our score up and see if we can win the whole thing. But yeah, uh, let's uh, let's go, shall we? Let's see if we can win. <laughs> 